so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of water animation in the blender with the help of the fluid simulation so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video we are going to use the a uh, fluid method as a ap ic which is give you a more realistic water effect basically so you can see guys that is the final render basically and we'll also talk about how you can create that kind of realistic water material as well so we'll just talk about each and everything in this video so make sure you watch this with tutorial till end now let's start the tutorial so first of all i just want to open a new project file so here you can see guys here we have a one brand new project file and right now we have only two objects in our scene first of all are this plane basically background plane and second is our top model basically okay so let's start the tutorial so first of all we'll just set up a basic fluid simulation basically we'll just set up a one domain then we'll create a, a inflow object where we can uh, inflow our water basically and third we'll just create a factor so how we can create this let's start it so first of all i will just add one cube in into our scene and i just want to scale this uh, cube something like that and then i'm just going to enable my x-ray view so we can easily see here basically so i just want to put this domain here to here and I just want to scale this domain a little bit something like that and after that I will just apply the scale pressing the control A something like that okay and that will be our domain basically and so now I will just create one inflow object so I'm just going to add one cylinder here and then I just want to go to my left view from here I just want to change uh, align as a view something like that and now I just want to move this cylinder here to here and i will just keep it here and then i just want to scale this cylinder something like that i think that's look fine to me and after that i will just apply the scale pressing the control a so i think that's look fine now i will just add the property into our object so first of all i will just select this uh, cube and go into my physics tab and here i just want to add the fluid and i will just change the type as a domain and i will just change domain type as a liquid okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything right now okay you have to just change the one setting from here scroll it down and you will see this type as a you have just click the all and you have to just click this option is called is resumable yeah that's it okay and after that you have to just select this one basically that uh, inflow object and again you have to just add the fluid property into this cylinder then you have to just change the uh, type as a flow and from here you have to just change the flow type as a liquid and from here you have to just change the flow behavior as a inflow object and uh, apart from that you don't need to change anything okay and for this tub we'll just add the again the fluid property okay into this tub i will just add again one fluid property and right now i will just choose as a effector because uh, that will be effector basically it will be contain our whole water that's why i will choose the effector basically so, so all setting is done now so let's bake it and check how it's look basically so i will just select my domain object and then i will just going to scroll it down and here i will just set the end frame as a 150 and then i'm just going to bake it okay so let's see what we get exactly so right now there is no scene there is no uh, fluid into our scene here you can see we can't see any kind of fluid uh, happening in our object okay so that inflow object is not uh, giving any fluid basically so what we have to do you have to just do one thing basically you have to just select your domain object and from here you have to just uh, free this data first of all okay then you have to just scroll it up and from here you have to just change the resolution division into a 64 and then you have to just bake it one more time and right now i'm just going to bake only 50 frame for the check yeah so now we have a fluid in our object in our scene and that looks something like that okay and there is one problem right now that fluid going to falling down directly something like that we don't want our fluid going to directly falling down we want that fluid should be go something like that something like that so for that what you have to do you have to do one more thing you have to just select your inflow object and then you have to just uh, go to your flow setting and from here you have to just enable this initial velocity and from here you have to just uh, see the which direction our uh, fluid going to happening basically so i think x axis is look fine to me because uh, because we want that fluid should go something like that so i will just uh, uh, increase the x initial value to 5 and then i'm just going to bake this simulation one more time i will just do free and i'm just going to bake it okay i think 90 look fine to me 
so here you can see we get exactly what we want but there is one problem also we don't want into this this direction basically we want the want this fluid happening onto this direction so for that uh, what you have to do you have to just select your object again okay then you have to just go to your initial value section and here you have to just add the minus in front of this five and then you have to just bake it one more time free this data then do bake yeah so let's see now what happening exactly i just want to skip this okay so now that fluid is going to happening in the right direction and exactly we want this okay so now uh, that look fine to me but there is one problem also that tub is not containing this water basically that effector is not going to contain that water so for that what you have to do you have to just select this uh, container where um, your tub basically okay then you have to just enable this is planar okay then you have to just uh, bake it one more time let's see so right now i just want to bake only 40 frame something like that okay and then i'm just going to see what happening yeah so now our uh, effector is containing the water but there is one problem there is too much uh, gap in between our uh, effector and that fluid and which is not look good basically so how we can resolve this problem so for that what we have to do we have to just uh, okay so i think we have to just enable our explainer option from here and uh, then we have to just uh, bake it one more time so now that water is going very nicely and that's look fine to me so now that water is going to in the right direction and it's also going to fill our tub that's look fine by the way okay so everything will look fine to me now we'll just going to bake this fluid into our mesh so for that what you have to do you have to just go to scroll it down first of all you have to just fill your data okay then you have to just uh, you have to just scroll it up and from here you will see the one uh, option it's called basically mesh you have to just enable this option okay and apart from that you don't need to change anything and from here you have to just increase the resolution as well so i'm just going to take 128 basically yeah okay and uh, yeah everything looks fine to me okay so now i just want to bake this animation and before baking you have to do one more thing you have to just scroll it up and from here you have to just change the simulation method as a apic and then you have to just enable this fractional obstacles okay and then you have to just bake it so i just want to skip this process because it will take little time so our baking is complete now here you can see that looks something like that and here you can see that look cool by the way that look very nice okay so now here you can see we have a perfect uh, a water floating basically okay that's look fine now we have to just create a only a material for this water so for that i just want to switch our our rendering mode okay i just want to uh, add a new material and i will just uh, create one water material so for that i just want to go scroll it down from here i will just increase this transmission value then i will just uh, increase the ir value 1.33 and then i just want to decrease the roughness value okay and i think that's look fine here you can see okay and i just want to create uh, one cylinder also and then i just want to my left view and from here i will just change direction as a view and then i just want to scale it and i will just cover this part basically from where we can see the water basically something like that okay and i will just go to edit mode of this cylinder going to insert it and i'm just going to extrude it something like that so here you can see and we will also create the material for this part as well something like that and i will just create one metal material decrease the roughness something like that so i just want to switch my rendering mode as a cycle so we'll see a uh, more realistic water here you can see now we have a more realistic water here you can see that's look fine okay and if i'll just show them my final render so here you can see that looks something like that so that's how you can create that kind of fill the top water animation in the blender with the help of the fluid simulation that is very easy and cool trick so, so i thought i should share with you so i hope you enjoy this video and uh, thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys